Hello everyone, I am Picard47, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the tutorial on the Federation side. Uh, let's get to it. Just continuing off from where I left off last time. icons above their heads. You can press the interaction key, default F, to talk with them. Finally, I was beginning to think you forgot what today was. How could I? You've reminded me every day for the past month. Did you get your assignment? Of course, I was first in line. Oh, before I forget, I think Raski is just ahead. He wanted to thank you for helping him cram for the Astrometrics final. Okay then. Let's go talk to Raski. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final. And for all the other times you've helped me. I've always admired you. I hope Starfleet recognizes all you've done to lead our class. What ship did you get? I haven't received my assignment yet. Good luck. Before you report to Lieutenant Farron get your assignment, you should find Tavral. She wanted to talk to you. She's just up the pathway. Okay, now we talk to Tavral. Greetings. Raski said you had something to tell me. It was good of you to encourage me to retake the linguistics final. I was willing to accept my original results, but you saw that I was not at my best that day. My score increased by 12.8% on the second attempt, well within my standard norms. Now I am qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. Morik would like to see you as well. He is ahead of us on the path. Live long and prosper. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Now to talk to Morik. He's going around talking to people right now. There you are! Getting excited yet? Once we finish our training cruise, we'll all be full-fledged ensigns. The buzz is, Captain Taggart hasn't named all of his senior staff yet. From what I heard, the advanced phaser training simulation is tripping people up. Thanks. Good afternoon, cadet. What can I do for you? Is this where I can get my training cruise assignment? Yes, I have the complete assignment list here. Name? Ophelia Marival Burrell. Let's see. Interesting. Report to Captain Taggart. He's in the office behind me. Is there a problem? You're going to have to ask him. Of course. The direction of your objectives also appears on your compass. Objects you can interact with have a glow around them. Press F to interact with a doorbell to notify Come. Captain Taggart of your presence. Cadet. You asked to see me, sir? I did. I've been following your progress here at the Academy. And I must say, I'm impressed. Thank you, Captain. I'm just looking at your final test scores. But I don't see your results for the advanced phaser training program. Okay, now here we have two options of what I can say. I know that program is also, it, let me try that again. I know that program is advice for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it. Or, many of my classmates didn't take the test either, Captain. Is that an issue? I'm going to do with the first one. I want everyone on my senior staff to run that program, and I want to see good results, no exceptions. Did you say senior staff? I did. Like I said, I've been following your career here at the Academy. If you complete that program, I can put you on my bridge. I'll ask my tactical officer to set it up. Your tactical officer, sir? Who is that? Another fine cadet like yourself. 
Her scores were almost as good as yours, but her record has a few blemishes. Still, I'm sure Cadet Flores will settle down and become a fine officer someday. I'll tell Flores to meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the phaser training, and I'll see you when you're finished. You're dismissed, Cadet. Yes, sir. So now you talk to Flores. Again. I got the tactical officer spot, just what I wanted. Where'd you end up? Captain Taggart says he wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass advanced phaser training first. You never did that? I thought you were Miss Extra Credit. Everyone knows that Captain Taggart expects all his top people to pass that program. Now you tell me. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Come on, I'll take you to the holodeck and set it up. Lead the way. And I keep getting Seems moved most around of our by our class ended up on Captain Taggart's ship. Have you seen the whales in San Francisco Bay? I never seem to spot them. I sometimes forget that Boothby is a hologram. He seems like such a fixture here at Starfleet Academy. Last one of the console buys the first round tonight. Setting up the training program now. I hope Holodeck 2 is your lucky Holodeck. Have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Shoot stuff, don't die. Pretty basic, really. I'll need a phaser. Phasers are in the lockers by the holodecks. You can grab one there. Let's go. Press the V key to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Just to demonstrate what that'll do. I've been playing this game a while, so I'm gonna do some some tricks that you probably won't be able to know how to do automatically. In combat, right click on a target. Like that. All this is stuff I already knew. I'm just letting it run for your guys' benefit. Well done, Cadet. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Hold on. Let me do that well again. Well done, Cadet. You're not gonna break the Academy record, but your score was more than satisfactory. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? Absolutely. I have a new first officer. Congratulations! First officer, sir? Yes. You should be proud of your accomplishments here, Cadet. You have a promising career ahead of you in Starfleet. Thank you, sir. It'll be an honor serving with you. First officer, way to go! Just a little jealous, I'll admit. <laughs> At least now you'll get to boss us all around like you've always wanted. What can I say? The captain sees greatness in me. Don't let it go to your head, buddy. I won't. You'll do great. <gasps> but we should head up to the shuttle bay. Everyone else is waiting there for the ceremonial send-off toast. Let's go. Remember, your objective locations can also be found on your compass as well as your mini map. Now hear this. All cadets report to shuttle bay to prepare for departure.
Okay, all of the senior staff is waiting by the bar. I'm sure everyone's a bit nervous, this being our first real assignment and all. So, I'm expecting an inspiring speech out of you. Something heartwarming. Make Tavrell cry. This mission could just determine the rest of our careers. No pressure. I'll meet you over there. May I have everyone's attention? We are the senior staff of the USS Graphic. Each and every one of us has trained for the task at hand. And we are ready. I have the utmost faith in each of you. You are the best the Academy has, and together we can do anything. All I ask is that we support one another. If we can work as a team, we can accomplish our goals. To Starfleet Academy. To the USS Graphic. To her crew. All cadets, please board your shuttles. I'm not really one for chatting with the crew. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. We're finally doing this. Oh, look at that. The USS Vesta, first of her class. She's got subsystem targeting, a crew of 750, auxiliary phaser cannons, and even a quantum field focus controller. I can't wait to captain one someday. But here's our ship. Miranda class, 200 crew, two forward weapon mounts, one aft. Average speed, warp, five point nothing. She's a tough little ship, though. I think I like her. We're the final shuttle to arrive. We need to get to the bridge. Of course, I get a fleet invite in the middle of the tutorial. How typical. I'm going to check in and then head for the bridge. See you there. Name and position? Cadet Ophelia Maryville Burrell, Acting First Officer. I have your record right here, sir. Welcome to the ship. Where is the captain? Captain Taggart is waiting for you on the bridge. Use the turbo lift behind me. It will take you directly there. Yeah, I'm going to talk about fleets later in another, in another episode. Today I'm just going to focus on the tutorial. Welcome to the bridge, number one. Number one? Early in my career, I served with a captain who called his first officer that. I always liked it. As my number one, I expect you to ensure my orders are carried out, and to advise me on the best course of action in any situation. But first, we need to get out of dry dock, get clearance from control, and close the shuttle bay doors, then disable the tractor moorings. Tivrel? Get clearance from traffic control for the graphic to leave the gantry. Earth traffic control has cleared us to depart, sir. Very good, number one. Flores, send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed, sir. Very good, number one. Potter, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings.
Potter, take us out. One quarter impulse. Captain, may I remind you that Starfleet regulations specify thrusters only while in the vicinity of space dock? Just checking to see if you were paying attention, number one. Potter, take us out. Maximum thrusters. And off we go. Cleared from dry dock, Captain. Good. Let's start with something easy. Set course for Vulcan. Course lead in, sir. Engage. Captain, I am picking up a distress call from the SS Breakeven, audio only. Let's hear it, Tavrell. This is the Breakeven, can you hear me? So our work order's failing? We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Potter, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room, prepare to beam over survivors. Sir. Sentence can't read anything in the vicinity of the break even. Communications are out as well. Keep trying to hail them, Tavrell. Number one, let's discuss the situation. You heard the distress call, number one. What do you think we should do? Is this a test, sir? Part of the training cruise? Absolutely not. We're the closest ship to the break even, so it's our duty to assist. Strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect communications. Good. What do you advise? Shields up, sir. Better safe than sorry. Raising the shields does seem to be a reasonable precaution. Yes, sir. It could be a trap. I agree. Flores, raise shields. Number one, get down to the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. And we go to the transporter room. Rack, the break even should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. I can't get a solid lock. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenarios. Beaming them over now. Klingons! This vessel is now property of Captain Kadak of the IKS chart. Rack, come in. What happened? Rack! Security is reporting disruptive fire in the transporter room, and Klingon transporter signatures are showing up all over the ship. They're boarding us. What can I do to help? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself, and any security team members you find. What about the enemy ship, sir? We still have weapons. I'll do what I can. For now, I need you to concentrate on getting those Klingons off my ship. Tag it out. Yes, sir. Time to go fight some Klingons. Go to the armory locker in this room and interact with it to get a better weapon.
Number one, we're doing our best to cripple this Klingon Marauder, but I need your help. Time to show off that academy training. I know how to improve the ship's weapons. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. Press C to crouch. Crouching is a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Press X to aim your weapon. Aiming your weapon gives a bonus to damage. And normally you wouldn't be firing weapons in an area full of warheads. And I certainly wouldn't recommend it in a room full of antimatter warheads. Because if you hit something just right, those warheads will detonate. Number one, we've got injured up here and the Klingons could send a boarding party at any time. I need you back on the bridge. Go see to the bridge. We will secure this area. Oh, back to the bridge. Oh man, they took the cap. Incoming transmission from the Klingons. On this screen. is Captain Kayak of the IKS Chant. You may have forced my boarding parties off your decks, but our ship remains cloaked. You have no hope of finding us or defeating us. Your choice is simple. Surrender, or we will kill your captain and then destroy your ship. Never. Perhaps your captain change your mind captain order your crew to surrender captain or i will blow them out of the sky it's your choice captain do you want these children to die very well number one you are now the captain of the ship your orders. Your orders are to lock onto my combat and fire! Make me proud. We have target lock, Captain. Fire. Direct hit! Casualties on all decks! Shields! Shields! Fire our weapons! Weapons and shields are offline! and begin repairs. We've lost their signal. What now? Now we fight. I 
as I talk to, to, to Flores again. And I just glitched. I don't know if you guys will see that glitch. We survived. But the captain... Captain Taggart knew what would happen. And he gave the order anyway. The ultimate sacrifice. One that we all might be called to make someday. He trusted you to take command. All we can do now is survive and remember him. Alyssa Flores is now your bridge officer. Bridge officers add abilities to your ship in space and accompany you on away missions on the ground. All decks reporting in, sir. We took some casualties, and sick bay is full. All ship systems have taken some damage, but some are worse than others. Life support is stable, but anything else could be an issue. Tavrell, send out a distress call. I have been trying to get a distress call out, Captain, but something is jamming all frequencies. Ah, keep trying, Elisa. What's the status of that thing on ship? She's still cloaked, but I think she took some real damage. We're in rough shape too, Captain. Zarva, damage report. Still running diagnostics, sir. Took us some time to get the systems back online. What about the break-even? Hail them to drop. Hailing the break-even now, Captain. SS break-even. This is a Starfleet vessel USS Graphic. What is your status? Well, this is awkward. You're angry. I can see that. Understandable. Before this gets too carried away, hear me out. I had to send that distress signal. My options were limited while a Klingon was pointing a disruptor at my head. The Klingons were thorough. They even damaged my warp drive to make things look convincing. I'll never make it to safety on impulse. Don't suppose you could lend me a hand here? I'd uh, rather not be around if the Klingons come back. We'll see what we can do. Quark won't be the last person from the Star Trek TV shows to make an appearance. Helm, full stop. I've stopped us this time, sir, but from now on you'll be responsible for adjusting the speed of the ship. Looks like she just needs three or four warp induction coils. We have plenty of those to spare. Position yourself near the ship and press F to interact with it. Thanks. And good luck with the Klingons. You'll need it. I don't know why that voiceover didn't take. Well, looks like we're on our own. At least they said thank you, I guess. About that cloaked ship full of Klingons? Zarva, do you have that damage report? Almost done, Captain. Level 2 diagnostic shows that almost all of the plasma injectors are damaged beyond repair. Do you have replacements? Not enough. Plasma injectors are made to withstand quite the beating, but I think the Klingons specifically sabotaged them when they boarded us. It's an easy way to cripple a ship. I'm installing what spares we have, but we're short three injectors. Without them, we can't go to warp. Any ideas, Elisa? We're not the first ship the Klingons have hit here. There's wreckage all over this region. I can scan the derelicts and see if any of them have intact plasma injectors. Do it. Bingo! I found some suitable debris in the boneyard nearby. Destroy three of those nacelles, and we should get the parts we need. Press the space bar to fire energy weapons. Yeah, that guy's getting annoying. These plasma injectors will do the trick, sir. 
gorgeous technology. Type R, if I had to guess. 3.7 liter flow with shielded reservoirs and a drop flow induction coil converter and... Uh, that's good. Well, remember the Klingon who wants us dead? I need you to work fast. You have your problems, I have mine. I'll need some time to get everything installed and run a level 1 diagnostic. We don't want to blow up the moment we hit warp 1. <laughs> Elisa, give me a status report. Zarva's dealing with the warp part, but until she's done, we're still stranded out here with no way to call for help. Oh, don't forget the cloaked Klingon battlecruiser. It's probably making repairs faster than we are. Well, that's looking on the bright side. Any chance we can determine what's jamming comms in the system? Of course we can. We're the class of 2409. Tevrel has been working with the engineers, and they've pinpointed the locations of several Klingon signal jammers. That's what blocked our communications during the ambush. I, I recommend that we destroy the jamming satellites. We'll be able to get a call out to Starfleet then. Sounds good. You must be within 10 kilometers of an enemy to attack it. Use your phaser banks to weaken shielded targets. Warning, ship is under attack. Use your torpedoes on an enemy when their shield is down. Nice shot! Two more jamming satellites left. I haven't forgotten about you! Think your ship can take a couple more hits! Yeah, one of the problems with the Klingons is they love their cloaking devices. Long-range communications are operational, sir. Shall I send the distress signal? Yes, send it. That Klingon ship took some real damage. I'll bet she's leaking plasma all over the place. We might be able to use that to find them. Do it. We need to find him before he ambushes us again. Understood. I'd rather not die to Klingons on my first day. Got it! I can trace the plasma signature right to the source! Finally, we have an advantage. I'll send the source of the plasma signature to navigation. It will show up on the map. Make it so. It's pretty far out, sir. We should use the ship's full impulse power to reach it. This will temporarily take power from other systems, but vastly improve our speed. Once we drop out of full impulse, the power will return to other systems. I can make your depth swift! Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Multiple birds of prey decloaking! Zarva needs more time to get the plasma injectors installed. Try not to break anything else. Incoming transmission set. It is from Starfleet. Put some distance between yourself and exploding ships. This is Captain Nog of the USS Chimera. Do you require assistance? Yes, sir. We were ambushed by Klingon marauders. Pretty bold move to come this far into Federation territory, even for Klingons. 
Where is Captain Taggart? He was captured and taken to the Klingon ship. They killed him after he ordered us to fire on his position. And did you follow his orders? Yes, sir. I see. And you're the acting captain. Yes, sir. I am. Right. Well done, Cadet. Looks like your ship is in need of repairs. Set a course for Earth Space Dock. We'll get you back in one piece. What about the Klingon who killed Captain Taggart, sir? Kadek is still out there. Believe me, Cadet. If he comes back looking for a fight, he'll get one. In the meantime, set a course for our position. Chimera out. Yes, sir. See? What did I say? And it's not just from Deep Space Nine that these characters will be coming in from, either. Congratulations, Lieutenant. We're here, Captain. The USS Kittimer is dead ahead. Our orders are to make contact with the Kittimer and find out why they've not responded to our hails. Very good. Set a course for the Kittimer. It looks like this episode is going to run pretty long. Probably close to an hour and a half. Let's cut through this static. Boost the signal. Yes, sir. I will require approximately 15 seconds to make the necessary adjustments. Understood. What are you both doing here? I'm going to let Nog explain. We weren't able to contact you earlier. We were escorting these cadets back to Earth's space dock after they were ambushed by Klingons. Under the circumstances, I thought it wise to investigate your situation here. I'm relieved to see both of you. The anomalies must be interfering with our communications. Where is Captain Taggart? That's quite the story, cadet. I'm sorry to hear about Captain Taggart. He was one of the best officers in Starfleet. <sighs> I'm sure this isn't easy for you and your crew. Don't worry. We'll have you back at Earth's space dock before you know it. I'm troubled by the anomalies in this system, and if they're affecting long-range communications, then they're doubly a cause for concern. Let's do this by the numbers. We've already launched nine probes. Now that they're active, we can do an in-depth scan of the anomalies. With all three ships collecting data, we should be able to complete this quickly and formulate a course of action. Any questions? No questions, sir. power levels to have a focus on attack, defense, speed, or balance. Yeah, but I think balanced power levels are the best option right now. Reports indicate traces of gamma radiation, but there's something off in the readings. Kinemer here. Are you seeing the same gamma radiation levels that we are? I'm not sure that a normal scan will be enough. We might need to do a full multiphasic reading. We saw the same issue. 
How can we improve our findings? My chief science officer, Commander Davis, suggests that performing a reverse tachyon pulse wave scan will solve our sensor issue. Perform your final scans, and then report back. Understood. And some... text options will not be available because of uh, career specifics or things that you need to unlock first. Deflector dish is realigned for reverse tachyon pulse wave, sir. Picking up a transwarp signature. Hello. It's right on top of us! The Borg! Target shield. Lower your shields and prepare to be boarded. All life forms. The Kidimer is under attack. Use full impulse to reach her quickly. Activate full impulse by clicking on the arrow. Deactivate full impulse by clicking on it again. Warning, ship is under attack. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Not on my watch, we're not. This is the emergency medical hologram aboard the USS Kittimer. I am requesting assistance from any Federation vessel in range. I've lost contact with the bridge. I am unable to contact Commander Davis for new instructions. EMH, give me a situation report. The Kittimer is being overwhelmed by Borg boarding parties. These Borg are different than the ones in my history records. They seem... Disconnected somehow. They're strange, but still quite dangerous. Can you hold out on your own? We have problems of our own to deal with. I am an emergency medical hologram, not a miracle worker. Captain Nog, what should we do? The Borg did some serious damage on the Kitima. The EMH might be in command because no one else is fit to do so. I don't like this. The Borg haven't been seen in this quadrant for decades. This isn't a coincidence. Need the data from those probes. What do you need us to do? I'll send teams to aid the Kittimer. I want you to finish the scans. We need to know the extent of the Borg presence here. And Cadet, if you or your crew are unable to tackle this, speak up now. The Borg can rattle veteran Starfleet officers, and you've already gone up against the Klingons today. I trust my crew. We'll get the job done. I've linked the IOTA point to your map. Scan there while we see to the Kittimer. Send us the data so we can begin our analysis. We have your data and our science team is analyzing it now. What is the status of the Kittimer? Our tactical teams have eliminated the Borg boarding parties on the Kittimer. Why do you ask? Can we use the Kittimer to help analyze the data? There is an 88.47% chance that you will need my help. Agreed. Can you help the Chimera analyze the data we've accumulated in this system? I have 75 million gigaquads of computer memory and an extensive library of files on military tactics and command strategies. I believe I can spare a few bits of processing power for you. Let's see what we can determine. Borg transwarp signatures detected. This is it. Get ready for combat. They're firing. I need help. More Borg! I don't know if we're ready for this.
keep it together, cadet. We beat the board before, we can do it again. You are Starfleet officers. You're prepared for this. Multiple Borg Warp signatures detected. It's an invasion force. We're outnumbered. There's no way we can... The Borg are leaving, most likely for a more strategic target. Concentrate fire on the remaining sphere. Now! We can do this! Okay, Cadet, here's how I see it. The Borg are using the Pollux system as a staging area. Our long-range sensors are picking up inbound transwarp signatures. Their most likely target is the Vega system. There is a civilian colony there, and if the Borg take it by surprise, they'll have a large population to turn into drones. The graphics should go to Vega to warn the colonists. Agreed. The Chimera is better equipped to hold off the Borg and assist the Kidmer here. Once you've warned the colony, return to Earth's space dock. Can you stop the board? It's not a matter of can, cadet. It's a matter of must. We'll buy you as much time as we can. You should have enough time to warn the colony. I've hailed Starfleet Command and requested backup, but you and I know we can't wait for them to arrive. Vega Colony can't wait. Understood. We'll set a course. We have to make our way to Vega as soon as we can, Captain. I just hope we're not too late to warn the colony. Are you ready to go? Shields up, red alert. That's a lot of work shift right there. To remotely hail your contact by clicking on the hail icon along the right side of the mission tracker. You need to warn the Vega colony about the Borg. We'll do what we can to hold off the Borg here and repair the Kittimer. Good luck. Congratulations, you are Lieutenant. Now in sector space. Peer ships travel at warp speed between systems. Combat. Make a few small changes. It's because this is what I'm used to. We arrived before the Borg. Now my heart can start beating again. What are your orders, Captain? Hail the colonists. We have to warn them. Tavrel managed to establish a comm link with Willa Post, the administrator of Vega Colony. It's not a great signal, but it's the best we're gonna get. Putting her through now. On screen. Greetings, Captain. Is there something I can do for you today? The Borg are on their way to this system. You need to start evacuating. Repeat, please. Your signal is breaking up. Did you see the Borg? What about 
The Borg on the Borg are on their way. Mayor, you have to evacuate. Calm. What ha what just happened? I have lost contact with Vega Colony, sir. Something is blocking all subspace signals in this area. Even our hails to the civilian ships are not getting through. There is a communication satellite nearby. It should boost our signal sufficiently to inform the freighters of the danger and warn the colony. Set a course for the satellite. Our hails are still blocked, sir. The Borg may be attempting to isolate the planet before they land. Your order, sir. Zarva, can we get a transporter lock on the colonists? Borg are jamming up any remote signals. It's not safe to beam through that. I think I can boost the game, though. Hurry, I think the Borg will be here any- Transwarp conduits opening all over the system, Captain. The Borg are here. Second. Those civilian ships are right in the Borg's path. We have to help them. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Yeah, I got pretty good at these kinds of tactics. You can adopt them if you guys want when you're doing the tutorial yourselves. I just... It's ultimately up to you how you do it. I just find that when you're starting out like this, the tachyon beam comes in really handy. Captain, I have short-range communications. Long-range signals are still blocked. I can contact the planet and have informed Administrator Post of the situation. However, the Borg have already landed and are moving toward the colony. It may be more prudent to retreat back to the Chimera, sir. We're the only Starfleet vessel in the system. We'll rescue as many colonists as we can. Borg landing craft detected nearby. Captain, there are civilian ships engaging them. I believe I can send a message to those ships. Warning. Ship is under attack. Target shields have failed. Civilian ships, you are ordered to disengage and retreat. We will cover you. Roger that, Starfleet. All ships, fall back. All civilian ships have safely warped out of the system, Captain. Target shields have failed. Captain, the Borg have landed, and the colony won't be able to hold them off for long. I recommend beaming down to Vega and getting as many people out as we can. 
Choose your away team for your next mission. Your choices for who will be on your away team will grow as you recruit more bridge officers. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. No, sir. I'll yeah. follow your lead. Let's do that again. Captain, according to our readings, over half the planet is already assimilated by the Borg. At the rate they're progressing, the region we're in will be overrun in roughly one hour. And if that wasn't bad enough, the interference is affecting the ship's transporters. Understood. We will manually tag any survivors we find for transport. Any questions? No, sir. I'll follow your lead. Let's get moving. Let's see about changing our weapon. Yep, here we go. I like to split me for this part. That's one of those Borg ships from orbit. Are we too late? Those landing ships don't just carry drones. They can pump nanoprobes directly into the ground and the atmosphere. We need to hurry. The Borg will be in this area soon. Thank you. We didn't know if anyone from Starfleet got our distress signal, and we don't have any weapons. But we do have some spare armor suits for you and your officer. They're in the crates next to the gate. This code will open the gate. Please, Administrator Post and some of the others are still there. You have to save them. That's why we're here. Press the U key to view your status, or the status of your ship and bridge officers. Oh no, we're too late. Sorry I'm not being very talkative, but I tend to get really focused in the game. Case in point. We have the civilians. There is still no sign of the Renown or the Kittimer, sir. I apologize for Kolez putting a rifle in your face. If it wasn't for him, the Borg would have assimilated me by now. What's the situation? Are you bringing more Starfleet reinforcements? We're the only ones here. The graphic is in orbit. I see. 
And it's true. Vega is doomed. A single starship cannot hope to stop this. Still, there is more to do. Many citizens are hiding in their homes. We cannot abandon them to the Borg. We can rescue them, but something is blocking our transporters. I know. Coles and I have been trying to get around the interference field. Thank you for tagging the people you found and getting them safely transported to your ship. That can't be everyone. No, there are dozens more hiding out in the buildings. But Coles and I have a plan. We think a pattern enhancer will do the trick. With that, we can transport the remaining citizens to your ship. But first, I'd like to offer you some equipment. Vega is... was a trade colony, and this gear was intended to go to Starbase 65. I think you need it more. You have my thanks. I'll retrieve the equipment and then set up the pattern enhancer. Let's go save some colonists. We have lowered shields for the transporter, sir. I will need to raise them at the first sign of Borg ships. I keep forgetting I have to talk to Administrator Post again first. The pattern enhancers are working, and not a moment too soon. I can hear the Borg moving this way. I need you to signal the citizens to come here for transport. I'll do that. How long do you think you can hold off the Borg? As long as we need to. Give the signal. Remember when we thought fighting a crazed Klingon was the worst thing that could happen today? Concentrate fire on the Borg. We need to keep them away from the civilians. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Or is it Ensign Obvious? Another group of civilians has beamed to the ship, Captain. Shields are back up, sir, but more Borg vessels are warping to our location. We have detected a type of generator near your position. There is a 94.6% chance it is the device affecting our transporters. If you can destroy it, we will transport as many people from the area as we are able. Hang in there, Tavrel. We'll be there soon. Mayor, thank you for your assistance. Thank you for everything you've done. Even though it was impossible to save everyone, those you did save will be forever in your debt. I'm not finished yet. Colas, you're with me. Glad to do anything I can. I was born on Vega. There's no way I'm sitting by and letting the board take it without a fight. All right, let's get moving. All right, Colas, you're going to see friends who've been assimilated. I know the drill. Just never expected any Borg here, you know. That one. We played poker last night.
We need to disable that force field. The Borg are activating the transport inhibitor. We need to disable that force field. The Borg are so... what's the word? Effective? Systematic? Evil. I'm gonna go with evil. The ship is transporting anyone they can get a lock on, Captain, but we don't have much time. We need to get back as soon as possible. Emergency beam out, basically. We're packed to the brim with civilians, Captain. I don't think we could fit one more soul on this ship. Communications are still jammed. The immediate problem is the civilian ships in this system. Vega's a huge trading outpost. There are always ships traveling here. We need to warn them the Borg have taken over. Can we reconfigure the satellites in the system to send an automated warning? Possibly, but what we need to do is hightail it out of here with these civilians. Of course, the path to the satellites does lead away from the planet, so we could remotely reconfigure them as we leave. The message won't get very far, but anyone who enters the system will get the signal and be able to turn around before it's too late. Sounds like a solid plan. Helm, lay in a course for the first satellite. And be ready for board. Multiple probes inbound. I don't think the Borg like us hanging around. Never thought I'd wish I was back at the Academy studying for the Astrometrics final. Warning. Ship is under attack. From this time forward, your culture will adapt to service ours. Thank you again, Borg. There are several fast-moving ships on sensors. No way to contact them, and I can't tell if they're friend or foe. Guess it's our time to go out in a blaze of glory. 
Hey, reinforcements! Great work! Now, let's finish this! We held off what we could at Pollux and sent a signal out to Starfleet. These were the closest ships. Others will be arriving as soon as they can. Glad to see you. There's no way we could have defeated a cube by ourselves. You've been doing a great job so far. Reconfiguring the satellites into warning beacons was excellent thinking, by the way. We received the signal as soon as we arrived in the system. That's going to save a lot of lives. Are we going to attempt to retake Vega? It's an option for sure. Right now, I need you to protect the civilians you have on board and ensure the safety of your crew. The Kittimer will return to Earth Space Dock with you. Once you arrive, report to Admiral Quinn. He'll have more information for you. Yes, sir. You and your crew have done well. Colas will make a fine addition to your senior staff. Congratulations, We need Lieutenant. to get the civilians to safety. And I don't think I can handle any more excitement. And let's go back to Earth Space then. Well, the tutorial is nearly done. Yeah, the game is just showing us where Admiral Quinn's office is on Earth Space Dock. Basically right behind the waterfall. And of course there's this arrow that's also showing us where he is. Greetings, Lieutenant. I have new orders for you. Admiral Sir, Ophelia Maryville Burrow reporting. We have a lot to discuss, Cadet. It's Lieutenant, Sir. Yes, I see that here in the report transmitted by Captain Nog. He granted you a field promotion to give you seniority over the rest of the active crew of your ship. As a cadet, you were assigned to an academy training cruise under Captain Mask Taggart, correct? Acting First Officer? Yes, sir. That is correct. I've read the reports. Facing off against Klingon raiders and a Borg invasion force within hours of leaving Starfleet Academy? Very unusual. In your own words, tell me what happened out there. Mm, just give the explanation. That's quite the story. Yes, sir. It's all true. Don't worry. I have statements here from Captains Nog and Yim and Administrator Post from Vega Colony corroborating your story. All three of them cite your bravery and command skills, as well as you and your crew's willingness to put yourselves in harm's way to preserve the lives of others. I'm a Starfleet officer, sir. It's in the job description. And you're exactly the kind of officer Starfleet needs. I know your ship might not be the Enterprise, but I think you've proven yourself capable of sitting in her captain's chair. Sir? 
Under normal circumstances, it would take you years of work to get your own command. But these are not normal circumstances. We're at war with the Klingon Empire. The Borg have returned. I'm losing more trained officers and ships than I can spare. Ships we can build, but leaders with courage and honor? Those are harder to find. It's time to try something different. I need someone who can handle themselves in a crisis and get the best out of their crew. Even though you're young, I think you're that person. I hereby promote you to the rank of lieutenant and give you command of the ship. Don't disappoint me. You won't regret this, sir. Your orders? You will be assigned to the Klingon front. But first, you could use some new equipment for your ship. I have some improved consoles developed by the Starfleet Corps of Engineers. These consoles can be installed on your ship to improve its abilities. As you improve in rank, you will earn better consoles. Other ships you will command throughout your career will have space for many more. When you're done here, go see Durr's racks to customize your starship's appearance. Well, that's the end of the tutorial. So I'll see you guys next time.